Yesterday, we talked about one of the newest art galleries to open their doors in Key West, the Adam Scott Rote Gallery, located at 806 Duval Street. Well, one of the newest restaurants to open up in Key West is La Petite Paris Cafe. This restaurant is delicious in so many different ways. They specialize in serving natural and organic food, and the owner of this restaurant is actually joining me this morning. He is full of so many great ideas. Robert, what a pleasure it is to have you Hi there, you how here. are you? I'm mad at you for bringing this food though, Robert, because now I'm so hungry. Yeah, <laughs> I hope, I All hope. All morning long. Next time, next time make sure you're not that hungry, because when you're hungry, everything good taste, and <laughs> I want you to taste this when you're not that hungry. Then you can really find if it's that good meal, you know? I'm, I'm ready for it. Well, I know your food is that good. Thank and Robert, you. you formerly actually worked over at Tavern in Town before uh, starting Yeah, last this time I, I, I worked, uh, not in my own business, was at Tavern in Town, which where I, I really enjoy working. I met great people there. I, you know, I, I, uh, after this, I figured I'm ready for something else because I, I reached the highest level of, let's say, I don't want to be, sounds not too modest, but, uh, you know, I figured I got to do something on my own after this because it, it's time, let's say, mm -hmm. you know. I don't want to be bartender forever, even though I enjoy a lot working there. And I, as I said, I made great people, which somehow they helped me out doing what I'm doing as well right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you, you went from tavern in town to starting up this yeah, restaurant. Yeah. What gave you the idea, Robert, uh, to start that? I gotta be honest, I always liked, love French cuisine, and one of the uh, French restaurants in Key West was my, uh, I would say, inspiration. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was most frequent regular. I don't wanna say which one, but whoever is listening, they, they probably know. And you know, I, I promised myself, why not do something on my own one day, such a thing. So my business partner, Raphael, which is not here with us, unfortunately, because it's only room for one at the moment, so I guess next time he'll be here. <laughs> he was uh, traveling around the States last year, and I asked him, you know, to do something together. He said, no problem, because we trust and love each other. Um, so he went to most of the States, and each state went to the best crepery, Google or wherever. And I told him to take a pictures of everything was possible. So he ordered two signature dishes each place. He eats a lot like me, and he doesn't look like me neither. Anyway. <laughs> So he went to all these creperies, creperies, the best in states, and order food, take a picture of the menu, take a picture of everything, and we come up with, you know, idea of combination, all the best from states. Mm -hmm. And as far as look, presentation, taste, ingredients, and everything, try and do the best, and so far so good. We are excellent chef with us, which, which is my precious, uh, Christine Zapka, originally from New Jersey, but uh, lived in QS for a while. Um, so she's amazing. She's, she's our, I don't want to say heart and brain because there's no room for me in this point, but seriously, she's, she's amazing. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm very happy with her and actually not only her, all our crew. Um, I don't want to say I steal people from local businesses, but you know, Bartony, I was going there through different places to eat and drink and I'm, I was meeting great people. And I was always, you know, hoping to be able to work with all these people one day and I slowly kind of collect them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And yeah, I, I have to say, so far I really succeeded because atmosphere is amazing. And that's what I learned at, at Tavern in Town. Atmosphere is very important. Mm -hmm. Speak of Tavern in Town and atmosphere, uh, my precious ex-manager from Marriott, Rick Palmer, mm -hmm. is going to join us working with us uh, in about one week. Mm -hmm. So I'm very happy about, about another uh, great person who's going to work with us. He's going to be host slash everything, wow. so manager. And you know, with this kind of uh, this type of uh, personalities, I'm, I'm sur people I'm surrounded with, it's a matter of time we're gonna go better and better. Which I have to admit already, you know, we, we're very very happy, very successful, mm -hmm. and we're not gonna stay in this point. We're gonna go farther and farther because I, I really wanna create something special in Key West. Um, and I feel really fortunate being here with between such great people. I ha I've got help from everybody. Um, so when I use this as much as possible, mm -hmm. <coughs> we wanna do projection. We wanna do movie night. Let's put this that way. We wanna do movie night once a week. It's gonna probably gonna be Wednesday from 9 p.m. till midnight. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna project nice movies, and it's gonna be. I wasn't in QS when I was at Tannic Short doing this, but I've heard from friends of mine that was amazing. So I hope I'm gonna be at least as good as them. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, you know, it's not gonna be charged. It's just something you can come and watch some nice, funny old movie, probably mm -hmm. vintage movies. So free to the public? Yes, and we have lots of room for it. Mm -hmm. So more than welcome, everybody join us. I think we start next Wednesday from 9 p.m. till midnight. We wanna uh, have a nice projection of, of some old movies. Mm -hmm. Lots of fun, you know. One of the ideas, probably free popcorn, popcorn or something like this. Um, 
Well, Robert, let's talk for a minute, too, about the food that you serve, because okay. when people come for the free movie, you're right. they're going to get to experience you're right, you're some right. delicious food. Best uh, dishes, Robert. Right. Best dish, right now, um, the best dish, I would say, my favorite is La Petite Paris, which is a stro organic strawberries with Nutella and uh, handmade whipped cream, and I always add vanilla ice cream. That's my favorite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But on the top of it, we got lots of uh, salads, paninis, uh, uh, awesome juices and, and smoothies, everything organic, fresh, and natural. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm, go it's ahead. It's delicious, all of the food. Yes, it's it absolutely is. Absolutely yes, delicious. It is. And, and we're, running, we're running out of time right now, Robert, mm -hmm. but also before we leave, we want to tell our viewers about your artist appreciation artist event. Artist appreciation event, 30, January 31st. Um, what we're doing, we want to... Um, give an opportunity for local artists to show their art. Mm -hmm. And again, it's, uh, I don't charge nothing, they don't charge nothing. It's the situation we win for everybody, which I'm really happy with. Mm -hmm. So we want to uh, present their work. And since we're running on time, I want to add one more thing quick about our uh, new dinner menu. We're putting up new dinner menu, start on Thursday. We're going to have a Peter Diamond singing for us. Mm -hmm. So it's little grand opening this mm -hmm. Thursday. Okay. I'm more than welcome, everybody. We have very ambitious uh, dishes. One of them are uh, scallops in the background right here. Uh, we also want to reach, uh, uh, extend our breakfast menu as well as uh, appetizers. So we mm -hmm. want to see touch such a thing like gluten-free strawberry cinnamon pancakes. Mm -hmm. And add the other one. So Great. please it come and come and try. Sounds delicious. Give Everybody shot. check out this new delicious restaurant. Robert, thank, thank you for being you on so this much. morning. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back after these messages with the Mad Hatter. Stay with me.